Hi, this is Ryan from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to be tying a, uh, a foam bass gurgler. It's a really good, really good topwater bass fly for whenever they're looking up, and I mean any kind of stock dams or smaller lakes or even bigger, bigger reservoirs for that matter. We fish it on all our small lakes and even the Missouri River, and pretty much anywhere there's largemouth or smallmouth out, they're pretty willing to uh, come up and eat this fly. So the first thing you're going to do is take a clump of about Oh, a dozen rubber legs. Tie them in at the back of the hook. I'm using 200 Denny or gel spun thread and a 2 watt Mustad 3366 hook. And I mean, you can tie this fly in any any color or size, but it seems the bigger size seems to uh, kind of fend off some of the smaller smaller bass. Cover that up with your thread. If you got any stray rubber legs, you can kind of just pinch them back into place. Then you're going to take two pieces of foam. You can do different colors. You can do the same color. I'm just going to do two, two yellow. Cut them the same width. Tie them down at the back of the hook. That gel spun thread cuts a. Cuts that foam pretty easy if it's tightened down. Kind of got to gradually tighten it down because otherwise it'll just chop it right off there. Just make sure you do plenty of wraps to get her get it tied down. And I'm going to take and put a drop. Zap a gap on there. Just kind of keep it, keep it held together that way. And then tying a piece of Estaz. Tie that down. Sometimes those rubber legs get pushed down right in your way. Kind of make a little bit of a ramp right here with your thread for that Estaz to slide down because otherwise you just get a really rough rough edge on it. And then wrap the estaz. And one thing with estaz is you always want to fold it back as you're wrapping it. So you do a wrap, pull it back, do a wrap, pull it back. Then you get a nice even taper because otherwise you'll get where it just binds itself down and you get kind of a rugged looking rugged looking body. Bring that almost all the way up to the front. About two wraps from the front, you can stop it, tie it down. Cut that off. Fold it all back if you have any stray fibers and just get it nice and cinched down. And then pull both pieces of foam forward like that, pinch them and you're going to do a couple loose wraps that's going to gradually tighten down on it because otherwise this foam is kind of notorious for you just chop it right in half like that and then take some more rubber legs probably about oh six on each side I'd say Three rubber legs total. So you'll have six legs. You'll have three strands, and it will fold into uh, fold into six legs when you tie it in. So you take your three three strands, kind of center it up. A couple loose wraps, and then cinch it down. You can wrap it in front of it now. And do the same thing on the other side. Take up time down on the other side. Same thing, a couple loose wraps and then just cinch her down. And then put a couple wraps in front of them. Something like that. And you can take them and 
fold them all up and trim them all the same length if you're feeling feeling picky. If not, the fish probably really don't don't care too much. I don't get too too selective about it. And trim off this first the top piece of foam. Make sure not to cut any rubber legs off. So you got that one trimmed off and sometimes you get a little lopsided there. And you're going to take what's left of this piece here and fold it back and kind of leave it so it pokes out a little bit so it kind of covers up your hook eye. Do a couple loose wraps. Tighten it down. And bring your thread in front of the that little hump you just made. And whip finish it. And then after you do your whip finish, take and cut this about half the length of the body and round the corners of it. And trim your thread off. Put a dot of Zappa Gap or some sort of glue or cement right where the bare thread is. There you go. That's it. Easy enough. It's a really killer bass fly. You can tie it in black, green, yellow, olive, purple, I mean, whatever color you can possibly possibly think, or color combination, or color of legs, or anything, but it's a really good bass fly. It's definitely worth having a few in your a few in your box. You can buy the materials for this fly at www.flyfishsd.com, and thanks for watching.